Looking for some help in the nice. slot, but a pass knocked down. Defensively held in there, however, by Drew Whiskey. Long shot, tipped, rebound, Goal. score. Tipped in, not sure if Drayson Bowman got a piece of it or not, but the long shot from Drew Whiskey at the point hit something out in front, bounced over Peter Mrazek, looked like he was sitting in the crease, Lou, and yep. then somehow went in. Sure is, well, nothing, just, a lot yeah, of room. nothing allowed. And oh, here's, here's a Andy chance. Mealy coming in, short side. Oh! Off the crossbar, off the corner of the oh, crossbar man. of the pipe. Turnover by Tiverton out in front, pick it up. Really does it in score. Tiverton poked it in on a second effort, short side off the great opportunity. And the Griffins have tied it back up at one. Puck knocked down, held in at the line, long shot from Scott. Oh! scores! Ripped it into the upper right corner. And again, it's Mealy on the four check. Gets a little help from Zengerly. Pops out the scroll, and he just blasted one. Top shelf it in. That's the rocket, and just like that, Lou, it's 2-1 Griffins. Uh, here's an opportunity walking right out in front for the dogs. Back to the point now. Drew Whiskey's going to play it far side. Morgan Ellis, wide uh. shot, score. Buried it in, far side. Just beat Peter Morazic over the right pad from the uh, top, uh, far side of the ice. Here come the dogs, two on one the other way over the line. Morgan shot, big save by Morazic. Gets the rebound, still loose. Break and away. here goes Athena CU on a breakaway in overtime for the win. Andreas Athena CU. Ah! Andreas Athena CU with the great wheels. Took it in all alone, left handed shot. Showed the backhand, went back to the forehand, slips it past Joey McDonald, and the Griffins do it yet again in overtime. 3-2 Grand Rapids. You know, it was nice, uh, you know, to get uh, to get some uh, game and uh, and the win. But uh, you know, the first uh, 10, first five, 10 minutes, it's uh, it's kind of different, you know, when uh, when you don't get used to the game and uh, the teammates, so it's a lot different. So uh, I was, you know, really focused the first 10 minutes. You weren't focused. I were, I were first ten. Uh, you know, especially first ten, you have to be, you know, like really, really uh, focused and uh, you know get uh, used to the game. What's the biggest difference when you come down here, especially when you've been in Detroit for the longest you've ever been? Yeah, it's it's big different between uh, you know Detroit and here. Uh, you know, in the game, the game is different. Uh, you know, guys are throwing everything to the net uh, from the side and uh, you know go for rebound and uh, you know they're shooting from everywhere here. Do you feel comfortable? Yeah, I, I feel great. Uh, you know, I was really excited for uh, for a game to play, and uh, and uh, you know the two points are uh, are special for tonight. Think it's going to go into a shootout. Uh, you know the three on three is uh, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, it happened to me before I left to Detroit against Texas, and now, but uh, you know chance by chance. So I don't think it's it's going to happen. Maybe once in a while shootout, but not not many times. Not with three on three. Yeah, I think it's it's fun for fans and uh, fun for uh, for us too. You like it. I like it. It's, uh, it's a lot of chances, uh, fast hockey, you know, lots of space. So one one mistake in D zone uh, is making a two on one and uh, or breakaway. Can you take us through that, that shot from the point that uh, Giada was on the loose goal too? Yeah, it was a nice pass from Zangler there from the corner, and uh, kind of just picked it up and held it just in the line. I don't even know if it was offside or not, but I held it in and um, kind of made eye contact with Andy and, and just shot it for a tip and a great tip by him. Yeah. What's it mean for you guys that? Uh, to win another overtime game. It seems like every game is going to go Yeah, it's a lot of overtime, yeah, and the, and the guys are complaining about it. We just want to win in, in regulation. So, um, I mean, if we can win in overtime, we'll win in overtime. But um, obviously, the regulation would be nice. Yeah. How do you think you guys played tonight? I think we played pretty well. Um, won one game for, for the most part there and um, came out in, in, in the third, and you know, we're up 2 1. So, um, that's a tough one late, but um, found a way in overtime. Yeah, I think uh, coming into the season, hearing about the rule, I was uh, definitely pretty excited to hear about three on three and you know, um, being in my game, like being a skater, uh, you know, I was just waiting for my chance to get that opportunity to play three on three, and you know, I was lucky enough to get a break there and make most of it. Can you take us through that? What, what, what you saw happen and how it developed? Uh, we had it off the face off there. We had a two on one, and I kind of <laughs> sauced it over to Lando, and uh, the D gloved it down, and we came back. And, and Peter made a huge save, and. Uh, Pager just got that puck chipped right by that guy and you know I got it and I, I kind of felt a little bit of pressure so I took uh, three hard strides and you know once I uh, saw it was clear cut I, uh, I knew the goalie was good on his uh, on a first shot coach said that so I knew I was going to deke the whole way. First of all you know playing against real good opponents I thought that was a high level hockey game they're a really good team um, I thought that game was a really really high level 
uh, it's hard to create scoring chances. Um, you know, so it doesn't surprise me that a game like that goes into overtime because it's two real good teams, uh, not giving a whole bunch up, playing at a pretty high level, and both teams kind of dug in and found a way to score, and, and, and then it ends up in overtime. Kind of interesting how you get the lead, you know, mm -hmm. give, give it back. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you disappointed to, to, to give it back, but I think you, you have to give some credit to them and that they dug in. And, and yeah, I think it's we had some young players on the ice there, and I think part of the process is learning uh, those situations, and you can't learn if you're not in those situations. So um, we could have made a couple of plays to get the puck out. We didn't get the puck out, and then it, it ends up in our net. But I also would say, you know, that's a little bit. They have, they have something to say about that too. They're a really, really good team. I can see where they were eight and two coming in. Um, I think these types of games make us better, and, and we certainly don't want to give points up, but we'll take the two points. We try to focus as much as possible on ourselves, and the points are critical to get, and we find, found a way to get two. Once you get that three and 13 mark and it goes three on three, you know, how does the strategy change for you? Well, what we've done in all year is we've gone with two forwards and a D. Um, what, what it really becomes out there is it becomes zero systems and all about individual ability. And I thought you saw that a little bit with the last goal in a sense that Double A is so fast that once he, he had a, a step on a guy, nobody was catching him. And it really does become about individual ability and guys making plays. It's probably why it's so fun to watch. Um, it's really hard to coach from a systematic standpoint. So from a fan standpoint, um, it's fun, fun to watch because of it. You know, and, and we were saying in between periods what a high level game it was. And we were saying, I don't know if it's great for the fans because nobody was, there was no space out there. Well, you get the space with three and three and guys just uh, create plays. And once a chance happens one way, it's going right back the other way for sure. I think it's the awesome. Three, the three three I think three on three's been awesome. I think this this what we do in the in the American League. I think is the best I've seen in terms of determining outcomes. I am a shootout guy. I'm not anti shootout at all. Um, I think it's I think uh, the entertainment value between three on four and four, three on three, and shootout has been awesome. Uh, we're all trying to sell the game, and I don't see any fans disappointed in that. Do you think Peter being such a good puck handler as a goaltender give you a big advantage in the three on three? Well, they get, he was telling me he should get an assist on the last one, so he certainly <laughs> feels that. Um, you know, I think he is a good puck handler, and he's uh, he, it probably helps for sure. But you know, the other, the other side is we had a really really fast player get a chance to get a get an edge on a guy, and, and he's one of the few guys that can make plays at that high high speed. And he made a great play on the goal.